Oh, look, he's throwing it. Look. They're, they're throwing Hey, look, they're picking up the tear gas and throwing it back at the police. No, they are not. No, they are not. They are picking up the shit. Well, if I could say anything to the people that came and just took everything good from that movement, I don't think I could say that on air. <laughs> uh, this this show's rated R. You can say anything you want. <laughs> um. The death of George Floyd has sparked international outrage with protests happening around the country and right here in Ohio. Police clashing with demonstrators in downtown Cleveland. These are all people of the community. We should not be subject by the same people we pay salaries to to mistreat us in our community just because we want to come protest. We are here to protect the rights of the public, which means that uh, violence and destruction of property is will not be tolerated. So the march started rather toward the Justice Center. And that's when protesters began throwing water bottles and other objects and we heard loud noises. Spraying stuff and throwing stuff spraying at us. Spraying pepper spray, yep. shooting tear gas on the floor at the people who were kneeling. There was rubber bullets rubber that bullets, they were shooting. They threw bombs, smoke bombs. Hey look, Cleveland getting turned up out here. For real. Niggas are not playing around at all. Look, they've been trying to bust out their window. That's crazy. Oh, someone hey, someone lit a car on fire. How how do you how could you even do that to something that's doing something that's actually good and just totally take over what this whole movement has been about and take it and selfishly make it into something that's about destruction and theft and just our, I'm just everything and, and just ruin everything that we finally could just, maybe some people actually were starting to hear but then became just so drowned out by the actions of these people that just came in because they wanted to just create anarchy and chaos. Gun. Oh, he's got a rifle. Corvo's big. He's got a gun. He's that's kind of crazy. If people would just come together and stand for the right issues and stand for the right things and just stand up for what's right, there would there wouldn't be an issue of where we're at today where people are, you know, destroying things downtown. Um it's just I mean Yes, like people have the right to protest peacefully. And you know what? They did. And the aftermath of whatever that other group that came up and, you know, we saw it with our own eyes and other people have seen it with their own eyes. Whoever that other group was, you know, like they, I don't even think they were there for the right reasons. And I don't even think they were there for the Black Lives Matter movement. Get out, get out. Oh, Look at them all fucking up the police car. Hey, look at them fucking up the police car. Hey, they fucked this bitch. Oh, oh they're about to set it on fire. Look, they about to set, hey, look, look, they about to set the car. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. 
Hey, look, he's about to set this bitch on fire. Look, look, he's about to set this car on fire. Oh, man, hey, these dudes ain't playing around, man. They're trying to get Hey, yeah! Go Cleveland, baby! Fuck the police! I know! I saw it on live, we're in paradise. I'm like, we're going down, man. Dude, hey, it's been going all day. I know my girl. Yeah! yeah. Hey, look, that bitch on fire. At that moment, I mean, the, my emotions were just as just as sad and angry and heartbroken as watching, you know, Cleveland just being destroyed. But in, in the hearts of the people that were there to actually protest in peace so that their voices could be heard. You have, like, everybody has to understand that those are the same emotions. Watching those people come up and ruin everything that they started were the same emotions as people are watching Cleveland just, you know, just be destroyed down there and their businesses. They were throwing rocks. Like, I'm sorry, but Lakeside Avenue is very, very clean. <laughs> And there's no rocks on the street. Like these came from people's backpacks. All right, I'm back. They are not playing around though. Oh, I'm about to go grab Nate. I'm about to go up into this crowd. At all. There's this dude on the stand on, on top of on top of a thing. Look. Oh yeah, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. The bottom line is when you have a large group of people, the power of the people is far more powerful than the people that are in power. And if people would understand that and get together as one to try to change everything that has been long too far um, and taken too far and not been served justice, you know, the world could be a really beautiful place where there is diversity and goodness. Yeah, shit's about to go down. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, here it goes. Look, watch. Oh yeah, they are not fucking around. Look, look, look at the tear gas. Look at the tear gas. Look at everybody running. So, I am a white woman. Uh, my husband is a black man. Uh, we do have mixed children together, and we do own a business together. The the amazing things that I've learned from you know my black American side of my family, you know, like I, it's, it's just a really great feeling to know that like, I have two girls that have both like my Irish background and my husband's, um, he's Dominican, you know, black American, even native American. And those, those two, all those cultures together, and my children growing up knowing all of them is is actually just so amazing that you know they can know that my my mommy is white but my daddy is black but they're both like pretty awesome people and i think if people just start talking to each other becoming a little bit uncomfortable with conversations with each other learning about different cultures and you know just coming together like our communities could be a hundred percent amazing. And that's, I just wish that so bad for our future generation. Hey, hey, you're smoking a cigarette. 
<laughs> put it out. <laughs> People are getting fucked up out here. Hey, you just keep running off? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are not fucking around. Yeah. Yeah, shit's getting crazy. Shit is definitely getting crazy. Oh, people are throwing. Mock toss and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, niggas are fucking shit up. Niggas are fucking shit up. Oh, look, he's throwing it. Look, they're, they're throwing. Hey, look, they're picking up the tear gas and throwing it back at the police. No, they are not. No, they are not. They are picking up the shit. Dead. That, that is nuts, though. These dudes are literally picking up the tear gas and throwing it back at the police. Hell yeah. Yeah, throw them bitches back. I'm man, what? Hey, these dudes are really taking the tear gas and throwing them back at the cops though. Like they are Shit is getting wild. We went to go clean downtown because, like, this is our community. Um, and to have a community, you have to have people working together. We have friends down there that own businesses. We have a, um, our office is located downtown. We have our friends and our clients that live downtown. We drove up and then it was just, it was odd first because it was so quiet and it was so dead. And we got there probably around 8.30 in the morning. But usually when we co go down there, the, even that early, you see people out there like walking and, you know, they're walking their dogs or they're going to get coffee and going to work and sitting out at restaurants. And um, like it was just dead. And then you just kind of have this like bad feeling before you even saw any of the damage that it wasn't going to be good. So when we, you know, got out and we were starting to walk on down Euclid and East Ninth towards uh, Public Square. Um, right away, you just saw, you know, broken glass everywhere and just shattered. I mean, there's hundreds of people there um, helping, and they were they were all residents of downtown. They were business owners. There there were people from Solon coming in. It was just, it was, it was a really good feeling that the the spirits of the people that were there we're still in that Cleveland state of mind. Like, hey, you know, we've been in this spot before, we can rebuild. But I mean, and it was all racist too. It was, you know, black, it was white, there was Asian, there was, you know, we've just, there was so many different cultures and races as well. Uh, we left before curfew, um, honestly, because I was afraid for my husband. Um, I mean, curfew is curfew. And even though, you know, if we were down there just cleaning and helping other business owners, I just, you, you, you can't just say, well, they'll let us stay because we're actually helping. Um, there's some other businesses that we'll, we'll go into um, when we're able to, and um, we'll go back and we'll help them clean up on the inside. Um, and we've also volunteered our time to, you know, anything else, like if there was leftover graffiti, you know, we can clean that up. You know, we can't fix what happened to George Floyd and, you know, Breonna Taylor and, and all these, these victims that have been murdered. You feel the devastation of the, the loss of, you know, the downtown. And then part of you, you know, thinks about 
it's just glass and it's at least that glass can be replaced. Um, but I, I know that there's a couple different alliances downtown that are cleaning up still um, and just helping out. But for the most part, it started looking like Cleveland again. 